hello okay take seven if not eight like i don't know anymore so i seem to be having little issues with my focus my lens is just does not seem to be focusing so i'm hoping this time we are going to get it right so here we go hey everyone wow that's just Lama. okay now hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is nandipa welcome welcome i hope you will like it here yeah? now if you're a regular subscriber thank you so much for your support and always coming back i sincerely hope that this is focused this time so let's just get into this video now in today's video i will be showing you how to make my aloe vera gel with glycerin mist i use this every single day i love the way it leaves my hair feeling oh my gosh maximum hydration maximum moisture it does not weigh your hair down it is so light it literally just helps to quench your hair so if your hair is very dry this is it if you have um problems with dry scalp this is it like this is the super food for your hair so if you enjoyed this video please make sure you give it um a huge thumbs up just to help me with the youtube just to help me with the youtube algorithm algorithm oh child to help me with the youtube algorithm so i can be noticed and also if you be so kind as to share this video with your friends as well as your family thank you again so now let's get into this video Okay, so after washing your aloe, you literally just have to wash your aloe first just to clean it off the impurities. No, I didn't cut it like in the greatest way, but okay, just picked it up, it's fresh. So you soak it in water, so you let that first part of the juice just seep out, you know, that very dark part, um, the one that really causes a lot of the itching. So we're soaking that because you want that out first to clean it out. So we soaked the aloe for about 30 minutes. So now it's ready and we are going to prepare our aloe juice for the hair. Okay, so we've cleaned our aloe. Okay, so it's clean. So now we're going to start removing the juice that's inside because all we need is literally the juice that is inside. I'm trying to see which one I can start off with. So I'm just um, going to use this container. I love this aloe. Like there's so many different types of aloe, but obviously you need the one that's kind of thicker, which has got the juice because this one, you can see that it's got literally that juice. So it's not the thin one where you struggle to get the juice out so now what we're going to do is we need to remove the sides which have the thorns because we don't need that part i'm hoping my lighting is good because yeah i'm doing this the later in the day okay so let's throw this one away okay so this is what it looks like so we've removed the sides of the yellow and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to remove just the top part. I'm probably not using the correct knife but that's okay. Um, it's like I'm doing like a fish, what do they call it? I don't know what they call it but okay. 
filleting a fish or something. I have no idea. I'm no chef, eh? Okay, so this is perfect. Oh, this is so good. Okay, look at that. So this is the part that we are left with. You can see the juice in here. You're trying to remove um, as thin as possible, just so you can try and get all the juices out of the leaf. Now, what you can so for this part, I think I'm just going to use a spoon. I'm going to scoop all the juice in here. Yummy. And you can still use a knife, but my knife does, is not smooth. It's not the serrated one. Okay, so yeah, it's very slimy. So this is what we need. This is literally what we need. This is perfect. So we're going to put it in the blender. Just into smaller pieces. Try not to waste the juice. So. <laughs> They oil over because they are full of juice and just been wasted. itching because the soaking does amazing thing it really helps to remove that um what do you call it i don't have the word for it that's exactly what it is okay so what you want you want more of sort of like the pulsating you you just want to poke holes into the aloe vera um instead of like letting it just grind and grind and grind so just Can see it's 
give you a different angle. So we're just left with the juice over there. Now you can throw this one if you like. What I normally do is just use it as a hair mask because I know I'm going to wash it off after leave it on for a couple of minutes. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. But um, yeah, you can just use it off in the hair mask when you mix your hair mask, if you mix your own hair mask with it. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to be using glycerin glycerin just normal glycerin guys just normal glycerin I'm going to be using two tablespoon of that glycerin is a humectant which is phenomenal for really helping to hydrate your hair this is vitamin E oil I'm going to use just a couple of drops of drops of vitamin E oil and I'm using this as an antioxidant but also just as a preservative so I'm doing it all in here because I don't want to kind of like drip 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 in the bottle so mixing all of this together So now what I'm doing is I'm just filling the rest of the bottle with distilled water and I'm messing rather. Should I say I'm messing? Okay, cool. so that's the um, rosemary essential oil that I've just used fantastic for helping to stimulate hair growth and guys literally this is it this is all you need so this is your hair juice um, it's like a hair mist I use this every single day on my hair okay we've got her now I've used it Okay, so now this is my superfood. This is my quencher. This is my thirst quencher for my hair. This is my everything for my hair. So I use it in a spray bottle like this, and then I leave it in the I leave it in the fridge for like seven days or so. Um, it doesn't last that long sometimes because yeah, I'll be going extra, especially when I have braids on. But yeah, I usually use this every single day. Now we all know the benefits of aloe vera so i'm just going to go through just a, a couple so it's got about 75 nutrients it's got amino acids it's got your minerals your vitamins it is full of everything that is amazing now also it has um an enzyme i think it's called the protolytic enzyme now what it does it helps to heal as well as repair any damage cells skin cells from the scalp so um aloe vera is very good for helping with hair growth because it, it, it works on the scalp you know and then also um the reason why another reason why aloe vera is really great for your hair it's because of this of its ph now its ph is very similar to the ph of the scalp so it is much safer to use than using chemicals on your hair so when you look at um, ingredients when you're buying hair products please make sure that it has aloe vera in it you cannot go wrong and we've mixed it with glycerin now i love glycerin because it is a humectant which means it helps to draw moisture from the environment and helps to lock it in your hair so 
glycerin, glycerin and aloe vera together and then you add water that's all like tight so this is absolutely amazing and i did add an essential oil so um another benefit for glycerin is that it's fantastic for split hands so if you hear split hands it helps to treat split hands but also it helps to prevent split hands so that's going to be good so you are going to treat your dry scalp you are going to help with a dandruff you are going to help um hydrating your hair if you've got dry hair if you've got dry scalp but also if you use um, chemicals in your hair a lot like if you relax your hair or if you color your hair your hair can tend to lose its um, moisture as well as it it's lusher it just looks dull so this is the baby it is really going to help to just give that hair nice feed it's going to feed it and your hair is going to look so um so thick but without being heavy so it's not gonna weigh it down and it's going to be it's gonna glow like this i cannot say enough i use it in two ways i usually um use it when i'm in the steam in this in the steamer when i'm in the shower so i will let the shower run okay so while i wash the rest of my body just so i can have moisture because glycerin is a humectant drawing the moisture from the environment obviously you're going to need an environment that is full of moisture this is where my steam and the shower comes in and then I will just spray that on so it's nice and warm and my hair my cuticles open so the hydration the water the glycerin and the aloe vera is able to absorb into my hair also um, if you don't want to use it that way you can just spray it on and then you can use those um, steaming caps on just to create that kind of like um, humid environment so your humectants work better if you are in a humid environment because then they've got something to draw the moisture from that's it it's it's so easy literally it's so easy you just press it on i use it every single day like i said and then if you're a person that has it's got high porosity hair you naturally have moisture your hair naturally retains moisture so you can use it every what three days every third day you just spritz your hair with moisture but this is the bomb i promise you your hair is going to love it it's going to look so much better like try it like seriously so that's it guys if you did enjoy this video please be so kind and give it a huge thumbs up just to help me again with my youtube algorithm and yeah make sure if you are not if you are not <laughs> subscribed to my channel please do so by pressing the subscribe button at the bottom as well as hitting the notification bell